Alright, here we are. Testing the PS2 upscaler now. Grand Turismo 3, A spec. Gonna do a couple races and, well, maybe just one. Firing up old things today. And this is the intro. Love that engine. Don't you guys? One of my favorite games as a kid was playing this. Just ooze speed. Yep, good times. Spent a lot of hours playing this game. I can't remember what I went to. Maybe it was simulation? Yeah, looks like it. Let's see what cars I got. Day 740. $270,000. Yeah. So I know I'm in this car right now. Oh, that looks pretty good. Especially for PS2 graphics. Yep, Skyler's doing really good. Ah, the Impreza rally car. One of my favorite rally cars. Again, like most of my older systems, the GameCube and the PS2, me and my brother shared files. We only had a couple memory cards, so a lot of his cars are on here too, like this. This is definitely his. He's a big Ford junkie. Nothing wrong against Ford. Just not my cup of tea. Showcase during this is really dark with the black background though. Makes it kind of hard to see these cars. Oh, that car showed up really nice. How many cars I even have on this thing? Another one of my brothers. For some reason, he really liked those cars. Still can't see you that way. Well. About this one. Nope. 
Oh, I'm switching to each car as I go through. There's probably a better way to do this. Whatever. Okay, so apparently I do have a lot of cars. I'm gonna keep going down and see. Huh, I didn't know they had this back in GT3. But they do. Sprinter Truino. Anyone who knows Initial D knows the Sprinter Truino. Alright, here's another one of my brother's favorite cars the Esperante. Spent a lot of money getting this back in the day. Me and him both spent hours fighting to get this. Ah, like the skyline? A GTR. Huh. Another Viper. Another skyline. Another Viper. And the Coupe Turbo Plus. That was the first car. You can tell because it's obviously got quite the bit of mileage, and we bought this brand new. 1013.2 miles. No, I hit back. So apparently circle keeps putting me back there. Oh, triangle. Okay. Game status. Just underneath 50%. Yeah, we we made a lot of money. Didn't always win. Huh. Somehow our car value exceeds our prize total. Ah, uh, from all the bonus cars. 683 trophies. Wow. A lot of racing right there. what cars they do have. Sylvia. Oh, they do have a Skyline, a 32. Uh, 33 GTR. Looks like, yeah, it just has one R33. It goes to the 34. Back to Soviet 40, Soviet 40, 300, 300, Venezuela, Z, a road car, and a 390. Huh. So on here they have a 32. Pretty sure this, yeah, this is another 32. This is a 33, a 34, and a 34. Not like today, where GT5 and GT6 have tons of cars. Uh, let's get triangles back.
Can I switch cars? Like a beginner league. Oh wow. We knocked a lot of these out of the park. <laughs> Except for the Vitz Vates. The Vitz Race. Not so good. Take her for a ride on the super speedway, the very first grade. Oh wow, the loading time. Okay, there we go. Now this is something I do miss, the qualifying run, so you could always move your placement up. I really do miss that they don't have that in GT6. I kind of wish they'd bring it back. I mean, a lot of people haven't really complained about it that much that I've noticed, but it is an issue sometimes. It'd really help out during some of the races if you were, say, third instead of sixth. It might be that way to get that one win. Action control, stability management, and all that's on. And, well, this car is obviously going to win this race. I literally left all of them back there. Now, I'm thinking that after I do this video, I'm gonna upload one, compliment it on GT5 and then GT6 with the same car, as long as I have the money to buy it and tune it real quick. And then, oop, touch the wall. And the same track. And compare the graphics. You can tell this thing's old though. Fast there. Ah. I think the one record that we had for this was uh, Corvette Z06 in this game. I do believe there's still an endurance race for this back then. And I think our lap times were almost half a minute. I think it was like 33 seconds per lap. Which, that's real easy to believe since this Turbo Plus is in 44 right now. And the Z06 is way faster than this. I'm hugging that white line a little. Yeah, the closest guy to me is 16 seconds behind. He's gone. Pretty sure I could start laughing people. Nice though. My game still works, my controller works. Can't really say that for the GameCube since that controller stopped working midway during the race. Yeah, not bad. Actually picked up another second. See how close they were. Get anyone? There we go, 22 seconds. Alright. Then again, it was the beginner league. So, we're gonna go ahead and watch the replay real quick and see how some of the graphics are. Again, we are using the upscaler, so it does look better than normal.
you can definitely tell that Gran Turismo has improved, especially with 5 and 6 in the graphics department. I do like this song that's playing right now. Going from one day playing Gran Turismo 6 and then the next day playing Gran Turismo 3, you can definitely see how technology has improved though. It's really quite something. I mentioned the endurance races. Take a look. Grand Valley, Seattle, Laguna Seca was never beat. <laughs> Coliseum was never beat. Trial Mountain was never beat. Such stage route 11 was. Roadster wasn't. Tokyo. Yeah, I remember Tokyo. One of my favorite tracks. Nope, oh, still a little neat. And yeah, there's Super Speedway 150 miles. Definitely was defeated. Yeah, I bet that's where a lot of our money came from. Choose a faster car and. Trade? Huh. Try out the Viper real quick. Hmm. Okay, it looks like I've done it before. And based on those numbers, probably the Viper. 270.
so it's all the way wide. Yeah. So it can't be yeah, changed any. come across with the Vipers. Sometimes a normal transmission actually outperforms the ones that you buy. Let's test that out real quick. So this is the Viper with normal transmission. Let's see how it does. So we passed the 200 mile per hour barrier. Oh. Ooh, responds really weird. Super touchy. And when we get the GT5 and GT6, I'll also try the Viper out there, make a companion video to this for each game. I don't have Gran Turismo 4. I honestly don't even know if Gran Turismo 4 exists. But since there's a 3 and then a 5, there must be one, right? Alright, 250. 4, 5, 6. 60. And that's when it cut us off. It still wanted to climb, though. Ah, my brother. Just a quick replay. Then we'll change to the other transmission. Do it once. And uh, see what we get based on the other scores. I guess you can get another 10 miles per hour out of it. Again, back to the graphics, it's just, it's come a long way. Yeah, 270, let's see. There's a way to change that. No. Huh. 
Alright, yeah, let's leave it sports for right now and then we'll take it wide. Yeah, we got enough time, we can do that. Super acceleration right off the bat, doing that. But I wonder how that's going to affect our top. Yep, there it is, right there. Yeah, top is 187.2. So we definitely, definitely have to customize. In order to make it better. Alright. Start maybe? Yeah, there we go. Exit. Alright, exit. long at all to reach the top speed. Huh, the brakes were glowing, so they did still have that. Not bad. Alright, setting. Whoa. Keep doing that. Keep thinking circle is back instead of triangle. off pretty soon. Nah, I don't I don't know. I think he's gonna cut us off first. Yeah I cut off saw first. Maybe if I did better in that corner. 265.8 though, not bad. Not bad. Alright guys, this is the last one. Save this and upload it. Gonna make a comparison. So it's gonna be the exact same thing, just for different games. Then I'm thinking about having a king and of the track event where I just start having drag races between cars, me and my friend. Go out to the best track we can find and have them go against each other for high speed. We can get a king. And then after that I plan on a Nurburgring challenge. And 
that'll test a car ability overall. And I'll also try to shoot for some of the record time set in the real world, not just the game world. So well, yeah, more to come on that. Go ahead and give me a like or a subscribe and you'll be able to follow me and see how it goes. Alright, that's that. I hope you enjoyed it.